everyone this is pooja from a small lab today we are going to start class 7 ncert chapter number 2 exercise 2.2 question number 1 and 2 2.2 question number 1 which is which of the drawing a to d show so in this question we have to match the given fractions with the given figure now let like one is to match so option 1 is 2 into 1 by 5 so this means that the figure option should be uh, two object should be there so we have option uh, b and d which has two objects so into 1 by 5 here denominator is 5 this means that the option should have five equal parts so d option has five equal parts and the numerator is 1 this means that the one part is shaded so this means that option 1 is matched with the option d so option 1 now option 2 2 into 1 by 2 this means the option should have two objects b option has two objects and denominator is 2 this means two equal parts should be there and the numerator is 1 this means one part should be shaded so 2 is equals to 1 so second is the answer of this third 3 into 2 by 3 this means that the option should have three uh, figures so a and c has three figures now denominator is 3 this means that the option should have three equal parts so this has three equal parts and numerator is 2 this means two equal part two equal parts are shaded so the three option would be matched with the a okay now fourth is 3 into 1 by 4 so the option should have three parts so three part figures is this and four is the denominator this means that the four parts should be there and one is the numerator this means one part should be shaded so fourth will go with the match with fourth question number 1 now let's move to question number 2 which is some pictures a to c are given below tell which of them show uh, so we have to match this given fraction with the given figure question so now number 2 first part is 3 into 1 by 5 is equals to 3 by 5 so this means 3 in the option there should be three figures 5 is the denominator this means five parts should be there and one is the numerator this means one part should be shaded so in option c we can see there is three figures five parts are there and one part is shaded is equals to 3 by 5 five parts should be there and three parts should be shaded is equals to five parts are there and three parts should be shaded this means first will be matched with the option c now second part is 2 into 1 by 3 is equals to 2 by 3 so the option should have two figures three is the denominator this means three parts should be there and one is the numerator this means one should be shaded so in option a we can see there are two figures three parts are there and one part is shaded is equals to 2 by 3 three part the three is the denominator this means three parts should be there two is the numerator this means two parts should be shaded here we can see three parts are there and two parts are shaded so option 2 will be uh, matched with option a Now part three is three into three by four is equals to two whole one by four. So here in this we this means that three figure should be there. Four is the denominator. This means four equal parts should be there. Three is the numerator, which means three parts should be shaded. In option B we can see three figures are there. Four parts are there in each, and three parts are shaded in each. Whole one by four. Here we can see that two is is a whole number. This means that uh, two figures should be uh, shaded completely. And in B we can see is equals to two figures are shaded completely. And one by four is there. This means one four should be uh, four should be the equal parts, and one should be the shaded part. And here we can see four is the equal parts, and one should be one is the shaded part. so uh, part 3 will be matched with option b